father had uh, the machine shop where he'd taken apart milling machines and lathes. My dad always played music around the house and he sang a lot, but when I was five, I got a turntable. And then he had the eight track, which had the Beatles. And I remember like just being so happy to play these little records and play them over and over and over again. The combination of my father's mechanical experience, or what he taught me, and then the arts, which it's also wrapped up in the family. I thought, oh my god, record pressing is beautiful, and Fern was like, why don't you start a business, and why don't you record press? I, I would drive by at 7 o'clock in the morning, and Tom would be at the factory. Then when we got together, she was like, oh my god, I'm going to help you one day a week. And so like, I just couldn't get enough of her. So I joined Tom, and I fired everyone that was involved in the company. She saw a bunch of naughty employees and cleaned house. I thrive on structure, so you have to be a little crazy or things aren't going to get done. We got 44 boxes done last night. We have like 1,700. Good morning, Tishia. Good morning. The production meeting is basically to stop everybody from, you know, acting like today's the first day. All right, so let's move. After we finish all of the VP jobs, <sighs> Where is Michelle? Good, Good morning. morning. You know, at the production meeting, I could also say, like, all right, everybody, who's planning to not be here, like, one day, and then they're going to tell me in the morning. Okay. Then we're good to go. Tom is a very kind and good-natured person, and to a certain degree, he gives everyone the benefit of the doubt. I'm the opposite. You kind of have to prove yourself to me. Why do you have, why do you have English money in here? In case I'm in England. But we're, this is... I'm confiscating that. Okay. Okay. It's the other side of the coin, so we complement each other. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? The clients are hypersensitive, and they're giving you the responsibility, so they have a feeling of what you're going to create, and you have to manage their feeling and their expectation. Let's do, like, Summer of Colors. And so I called everyone. You know, I just happened to make a couple of them colors and send them off. It was great because the fan base really liked it, and we ended up using up all of the, the color material. The smell in here of the freshly baked vinyl. Uh, one of the successes you can have is a repeat customer. Then that is like you solved hundreds of problems, and you had the customer happy, and then you get to repeat it again. If, if you want to do record pressing, you really have to commit to it. It's constantly like, <sighs> give it my all. <laughs> like, what are we doing today? How can we make this better? There's so many things. So I'm not alone in that at all. We move forward that way. And that's been like from our first record to today. Having success with those responsibilities, it's a feel good. Feels good. Keep on thinking of the sun.